I, I never really knew what I wanted to be when I was growing up. I, I always knew what the poles in the street did and, and where they came from, but not really that you're actually burning something to turn something to create power. Historically, all of our energy has come from a centralised location, and really it's really all come from, in Australia, coal or, or gas that we now understand is, is leading to climate change. So renewable energy itself is attempting to stop that impact to climate change that's from our energy that we're producing. So as an engineer, when I go to work every day, I'm, I'm there to solve, to solve problems. We're really heading into the, an energy transition right now. Um, so a lot of our generation will now come from distributed energy resources. So there's our wind farms and solar farms, which are no longer really centralised. They're actually out in the distribution network. This two-way flow is really causing an issue and extra congestion within our network. And that congestion, we needed a system to manage it. And that system we developed is HV Derms. HV Derms stands for High Voltage Distribution Energy Resource Management System enables us to squeeze extra renewables onto our network, really without having to install additional lines and upgrade our equipment. We're currently in the Timboon wind farm. We're seven kilometres southwest of Timboon townland itself. This site was built in 2018, acquired by Epic 2019. The site was picked specifically for strong, consistent wind speeds. We're adjacent to the overhead networks, 22 kV networks for easy grid connection. And we're remote from most, most houses and dwellings, so there's no issues regarding local, local houses. Just a just the house. <laughs> this, this particular site has two turbines. Each turbine is 3.6 megawatts, which is enough power really for 5,200 homes, and it would remove about 26,000 tonnes of CO2 from the atmosphere. HV Derms just came along through power cords. It's quite a new technology, really. The, the grid operator can manage their grid and see where the local embedded generation is and have it used locally and keep the, the maximum load available on that network at all times. The time and the cost and effort involved in upgrading networks, new substation builds, overhead line restringing, is, is a lot of cost. You know, if we have to spend that additional money on network reinforcement, that end cost is pushed onto the, the customer at the end of the day. By not having to do that, we can generate green electricity cheaper and therefore giving it cheaper again to the final households. I, I think there's shared common goals between everybody within the industry at the moment, especially the power industry, to, to meet the renewable targets and move forward for a greener, healthier environment. So I think Australia's about the boom and I'm very excited about it. Epic have been um, great to deal with. They've really jumped on board and assisted us with this pioneer project. We now have control from our control room um, directly to the wind farm. Historically, that would have been via a phone call, and now it's via our HV Derms um, scheme, which can control the wind farm directly. What we would consider phase one of HV Derms is complete. What that means is we've, we've rolled it out throughout our entire distribution network. So that, our entire distribution network is, is half of Victoria. Um, and yeah, it's, it's definitely is a, is, a, is a first. This challenge is not just for the City Power Power Core network. It really is for all distributors everywhere in, in the world, really. And we're, we're making steps within this business to, to really get there and assist that, that energy future. At City Power Power Core, we're, we're looking at ways to better utilise our network to increase utilisation without additional cost to the customer.